Imagine you're in an airplane and a flock of birds is flying dangerously close to the aircraft. Before you know it, you hear a boom and the plane starts to shake. You see fire and smoke and you don't know what's going on. What you're seeing is the aftermath of a particularly serious bird strike and it's a surprisingly common occurrence. Every year, bird strikes cause up to $1.2 billion in damage to planes around the world. Incidents in the U.S. alone make up one-third of this, with around 16,000 bird strikes recorded each year. 97% of bird strikes occur at airports, specifically during two phases of a plane's flight, takeoff and landing. Due to planes being at lower altitudes at this stage of flight, birds are more likely to find themselves in the vicinity of a plane and its engines. But that doesn't mean bird strikes never happen at cruising altitudes. Bird strikes have been recorded all the way up to 30,000 feet above the ground. The highest recorded bird strike happened at an altitude of 37,100 feet above sea level when a Rupel's vulture collided with a plane flying over the Ivory Coast. Coincidentally, this was also the highest recorded case of avian flight. So what happens when a bird hits an engine? Birds flying near the front fan of a plane's turbine engine are at risk of getting sucked in and shredded. Jet engines take in a massive volume of air during flight to help generate enough thrust. To take in that much air, its fans have to spin at up to 20,000 revolutions per minute. As we go deeper into the engine, fans and other bladed serrated components become smaller and smaller so the air coming in can be sped up and compressed. If the bird is big enough to get stuck in the front fan, it can potentially halt the operation of the plane's engine. A fan blade can end up displaced into another blade, causing a domino effect or a cascading failure. Thankfully, only a very small percentage of bird strikes result in an accident. Very rarely do birds of a significant enough size end up caught in a plane's engines. Even when worse comes to worse, most planes can operate with just one functioning engine. They even come with design features that ensure the engines are able to safely shut down upon ingesting a bird weighing more than 4 pounds in order to minimize any damage. Pilots are also trained to operate planes and safely land in these situations. Even if a plane crashes into a flock of birds head-on and both engines are disabled, it's still possible to guide the aircraft to safety. In January 2009, an Airbus A320 crashed into the Hudson River shortly after takeoff. Why? It ran into a flock of birds. Thanks to a combination of luck and quick thinking by the plane's pilot, the aircraft was able to make a relatively low impact landing on the Hudson River. All 155 people on board were safely rescued. Even if bird strikes don't pose a statistically significant enough risk to plane crews and passengers, measures are still being taken to minimize their cumulative damage. Airport personnel avert birds from getting near planes through the usage of gas cannons, which generate a loud noise when connected to a spark plug. They've also been known to use visual repellents, such as landing lights, and even laser pointers to drive off birds flying a little too close. Aside from that, air traffic controllers also adjust flight paths depending on migratory patterns of known bird species with the assistance of specialized avian radar systems. Moving forward, simply avoiding the flight paths of migratory birds seems to be the right approach. But as long as birds and aircraft share the skies, there is always the risk of collisions.